So on HP latex, because it's water-based inks, uh, they tend not to be as susceptible to drying up compared to solvent or maybe possibly UV. But from time to time, if you've got a problem with your image quality, the first thing you should do is a, a nozzle test print. And to get to that, you go to settings, image quality maintenance, clean print heads, and then you can do a print test plot. And then the prints will, the fans will kick in to get to curing temperature, and then it will print every nozzle the heads have got. And what this has done is fired every head so we can see what state the printer is in. So on a HP, all the heads are numbered, so you've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. One being the optimizer, the lights, cyan and blacks, and yellow and magentas. So you can see this grid pattern here where it would have nozzles out if it was missing. And also in this little color box here is an indication of how it's printing as well. But that all looks fine. But that is the number one test to do if you've got a problem with print quality before you try anything else. So once you've done your test print, if you see problems with a particular head, what you should go and check then is whether the head's still in warranty or not. So from the home screen, if you go to print heads, and then you can pick the head that you think you may have a problem with. So just say, for instance, cyan and black. And then it tells you whether it's in warranty or not. Now, HP warranty a head for a litre of ink. So this one is a new head, and it's only had one mil of ink fired through it. If I go back and pick one of the older heads, the optimizer has had 722 mil of ink through it. So they're still in warranty. So if there's a problem with the head, then that can be replaced under warranty free of charge. Once you go over a litre of ink, then it's out of warranty. So if we did have a problem with one of the heads that is over its litre warranty, for instance, the yellow magenta, the first thing you would do is replace that print head. And that will nine times out of 10 fix the print issue that you've got. If it's in warranty and it's still not right, then obviously you can try the cleans first, but you don't want to be doing clean after clean after clean because there's a good chance it won't come back.